and welcome back to NDP 2023. The atmosphere here at the Padang is absolutely electrifying. And to kick things off, here's a special remix of this year's National Day theme song, Shine Your Light. It's performed by dancers from Victoria JC, Bedok View Secondary and East Spring Secondary. Young artists Shamin Chan, Loic Lastinet, Shannon Wong, Izan Iskanda and Ashi Bhagwat will take the stage to belt out this rendition of the NDP 2023 theme song. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to warmly welcome our Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Xia Kian Peng, and the Members of Parliament. And we see now Speaker of Parliament Xia Kian Peng arriving now to take his seat. And he's joined by other Members of Parliament also making their way into the Padang now. Mr. Xia Kimping, of course, uh, is the 11th Speaker of Parliament and also a Member of Parliament from the Green Parade at GRC. Now, all the MPs that you see making their way into the Padang now, looking bright and cheery. They're dressed in a festive red and white, Singapore's national colours and also the colours on our flag. All the MPs in high spirits, along with the 27,000 spectators welcoming them as we celebrate the nation's 58th birthday bash back here in this historical location. And now that the MPs have taken their seats, we're in for a musical treat.
an explosion of colour in vibrant pinks and purples. Students from Dei Secondary School bring us their very own rendition of K-pop band BTS's smash hit, Dynamite. is now joined by MOE dancers, showcasing their energetic dance moves. What a wonderful way to kickstart the show with such vibrant energy from our youths. Now, in this year's NDP, we're seeing over a thousand youth participants, including performers, motivators, makeup artists, and designers. It takes so much talent, coordination, and hours of hard work to put on a show like this. What a proud moment for these students. Yet youthful and energetic opening was performed by students from Victoria Junior College, Badalt View Secondary, East Spring Secondary, and Deyi Secondary. Thank you, performers. And now, Singapore, let us welcome your hosts for this evening. Thank you very much, Mr. X. Wherever you're tuned in from, we say welcome to the Padang. My name is Joachim Gomez. Hello, Singapore. I'm Ishwari Gunasegar. What's up, everyone? Fauzi Laili here. What a wonderful day in Singapore. I'm Hazel Teo, and welcome to National Day Parade 2023. This year, we're celebrating NDP from the Padang. And it's been a few years since we've last had our NDP here. And it, I know it feels so special to be in the centre of the Civic District where we can witness Singapore's beautiful skyline. And this is where our first Singaporean government was sworn in back in the year 1959. That's right, Joachim. The Padang holds a very important place in Singapore, which is why it was declared as a national monument a year ago. It really is quite something to be standing on this very ground to celebrate NDP this year. Okay, this evening, we have a whole line with the parade and performances from nostalgic songs to upbeat anthems. That's right, so no matter where you are, whether you're physically here at the Padang or in the comfort of your own homes, please feel free to sing along, clap along and dance along as we celebrate Singapore's 58th birthday. Aside from this amazing view, you might be wondering why do we walk the entire length of the Padang? Ladies and gentlemen here at our audience or people watching at home, we've just been told that very soon it's going to be the crowd favourite of any NDP. It will be our Red Alliance. Oh, you know what? I am so excited. It's going to be so exciting. Today, we've got eight Red Lions who will be joining us any moment now. So, Singapore, so do watch out. But most importantly, Singapore, are you ready for them? Uh, no, you know what? We need more. You can do better. One more time, all right? Singapore, are you ready for them? You know what, Singapore, I'm glad you are. Look up, the Red Lions have jumped. Now and as you've heard, they've just made that jump. Eight Red Lions will be taking the leap today. They're jumping 10,000 feet out of a C-130 Hercules aircraft at 120 miles per hour. They began in a six-way ring formation and soon they'll switch to what's known as a stack formation. And that's the target this evening, the Padam. And from all the way up in the air, it's just a tiny little matchbox. It's going to be a real challenge for the fearless Red Lions to land in that spot. Plus, 
They'll have to navigate the challenging crosswinds to make their landing. But they've trained hard for this, and the crowd is in for a real treat. The Red Lions were officially inaugurated in the year 1966, and these commandos have had a long history of performing jumps at the NDP since 1917. Now this elite team is made up of individuals from the commandos unit and they're trained to conduct free fall operations. And what the Red Lions are able to accomplish today, that takes anything from 5 to 10 years to get to the level of proficiency that you see right now. All those expectant faces in the crowd here at the Padang, the crowd is craning their necks to look up into the sky. They've got their eyes up, their phones out, and they're waiting to catch a glimpse of the Red Lions. Well, as they make their descent, let's take a closer look at what the Red Lions are wearing. Now, the Red Lions outfits, they're not simply just a costume bearing the red and white of our national flag. All of it, from the helmets and the jumpsuits to even their boots, it's all designed to reduce drag and ensure a smoother freefall. Well, here are the spectators of the Padang just catching sight of the Red Lions as they are making their descent. Now remember, it isn't just the free fall, but also the landing techniques that they'll have to master. One of the most challenging parts of completing the jump is this technique called flaring. You'll get to see it a little later on. That's the approach as they pull both the steering handles down and glide just above the ground before landing. It's something that even experienced jumpers say is challenging because you have to determine how high and how fast to begin the process in constantly changing conditions. But we have an experienced team making the jump this evening and they're coming in close. What a view it must be from up there as well, landing right in the heart of the city into an excited crowd, a sea of red and white. That sea of smiling, expectant faces looking into the sky, the crowd waving their flags and cheering on the fearless red lions. The anticipation is just building in that crowd, 27,000 strong awaiting the arrival of the Red Lions. And as you know, this has always been one of the highlights of the National Day Parade. Remember, they're jumping off the plane at a height measuring what's almost equivalent to a thousand HDB flats at speeds of 120 miles per hour. An incredible feat and definitely not for the faint of heart. Crowd excited, looking up into the sky, anticipating our Red Lions and their return home. And they're almost here. The crowd getting ready, getting excited, waiting for their descent. And they're almost here. They're getting ready now to welcome our first Red Lion home. In close succession, they're approaching the Padang now, ready for their final descent. Leading the team this year, all eyes on Master Warrant Officer Chong Bun Heng, making his approach, coming in close, and he makes a safe landing, a whopping 1,900 jumps under his belt. And next up, First Warrant Officer Ong Ka Soon. He's got 690 jumps, and it's touchdown. Coming up, second warrant officer, Sim Chi Jin. He's got 750 jumps under his belt. And he's ready to score this smooth landing. Here he comes. And he's made it. Hot on his heels now, first warrant officer, Chu Eng Sing. 730 jumps under his belt. He's making his approach and... He lands safely, the crowd giving him a warm welcome home. And next up, we have first warrant officer Po Jing Xiong. He's logged 900 jumps to make this beautiful touchdown. And coming in quick behind him, senior warrant officer Maheshwaran. 
He is about to make his landing. With 1,674 jumps, he's made a smooth landing as well. And we're down to the final two Red Lions. Second warrant officer Chua Sing Moon is making his approach now. With 765 jumps, he's made it home. And finally, last but not least, we have our cameraman. He's Master Warrant Officer Leonard Tan. Now, he's behind all the exhilarating aerial shots you're seeing of the jump today. And as he comes in close, you can probably spot that camera right there on his helmet. He's clocked an impressive 2,700 jumps to make this beautiful landing coming your way. And he's home. Welcome home, sir. What a spectacular cap from the pre-parade segment. The crowd is absolutely thrilled. Clearly, the Red Lions always a crowd favorite. What an experience and what a performance by the Red Lions. They're making their way now to the front of the Padam as the crowd shows their respect and their appreciation. An incredible feat accomplished by the Red Lions this evening. The spectators delighted by the visual spectacle of their performance today. You can see them smiling from ear to ear, completely enjoying that performance, delighted by the captivating feat of true courage and skill. And presenting the Red Lions taking a final salute after making a safe landing home. The crowd absolutely thrilled. They're cheering and waving, thanking the Red Lions for yet another exciting and memorable performance. Wow, what an exhilarating experience that was, Fauzi, right? Yes, absolutely. Our Red Lions did very, very well just now, right, Padang? All right, so what do we have next? All right, up next, we have a Made in Singapore a cappella group, The Island Voices and the Music and Drama Company. That's right, they'll be performing a medley of some of our favourite NDP songs like We Are Singapore, Singapore Town and We Will Get There. Wow, those are very nostalgic songs. Do you remember the link the dances for the songs? Of course, I do Singapore. I hope you do because if you do, sing along, clap along and enjoy. Let's warmly welcome The, the Island, Island Voices. Voices.
flames, we will rise up like a phoenix from the flames. We will rise. That beautiful medley. Thank you very much, Island Voices, as well as Music and Drama Company. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this exact area has seen so many of Singapore's significant milestones. That's why the Parang is our newest national monument that had witnessed many firsts, including our first National Day Parade back in 1966 and our first Great Singapore Workout in 1993. We go from that to SG50 back in 2015 and not forgetting in 2019, the huge silver lion. What other first has this area seen? Presenting a video that we call the, the Padang. Padang. There comes a moment of great change. Tonight is such a moment in our lives. This is the first time we met. My first stick find. Whoa. First time like. Mama! Sanja! This is the bus. This will be my first front page. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Padang. And now, kick-starting the National Day Parade and Ceremony segment is the Military Tattoo. The Military Tattoo is formed by 133 talents from the SAF, SPF, and the Combined Schools Band from Bowen Secondary School and Yuhua Secondary School. It is led by the Director of Music, Military Expert 5, Ignatius Wong. This is the first time in eight years that a large-scale band will be performing at the Padang for the National Day Parade. The band will be forming seven unique formations in a show of coordination and precision. Now see if you can spot Singapore's Changi Airport and two airplanes from this bird's eye view. Military music always sets the mood for the parade and ceremony segment. And as you've heard, the combined band is made up of the SAF band, the SPF band, along with the students from Bowen Secondary School and Yuhua Secondary School. 
And it looks like we have another formation in Orchid in the shape of Singapore, our beautiful island nation. The SAF band first made its appearance in 1994 and had its roots in the Singapore Military Forces Staff Band, which was established in 1958. And a little fun fact for you, the SPF band is actually the oldest band in Singapore. It was established in 1925, while the country was still under British rule. That makes it almost a hundred years old. It looks like they're on the move again, and now we can just make out the next formation. Our Singapore flag, with a crescent moon and five stars arising. The crescent moon symbolizing a young nation on the rise, and the five stars depicting Singapore's ideals of democracy, peace, progress, justice, and equality. and getting into their final formation now. In celebration of our nation's 58th birthday, NDP 2023. A stunning performance by the combined band. Ladies and gentlemen, the Parade Regimental Sergeant Major for National Day Parade 2023 is Master Warrant Officer Pandi Kumaran, son of Athyapan, Command Chief, Changi Air Base, Air Power Generation Command. This year's parade and ceremony segment at the Padang marks the return of full-scale marching contingents since 2019. And marching onto the Padang now are the SAF contingents from our Singapore Army, Navy and Singapore Air Force. And together with our home team contingents from the Singapore Police Force and the Singapore Civil Defence Force. uniformed youth organizations formed by the students. These contingents represent our youth's resolve to defend Singapore and their commitment to Singapore's progress.
marching in now from the rear of the Padang are the contingents representing the social and economic sectors of our nation. Together, these civilian organizations and companies showcase how far Singapore has progressed, both socially and economically, over the years. Together, the parade reflects the unwavering dedication and resilience demonstrated by the military and civilian sectors of Singapore, a show of their commitment to defend our nation and to move onward as one. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade commander will now take over command of the parade from the parade regimental sergeant major. These are the sacrifices we make so that we can put up a wonderful show for all Singaporeans. NDP is not a short sprint, it is a journey and we will enjoy this journey in unity. Just like our team, onward as one. six regimental colors, the four state colors, and the five Guard of Honor contingents. The colors were originally military flags that were a means of identification in battle. Now in the past, when colors were carried on active service, they stood as a rallying point and the scene of their last stand. Because of their importance, capturing an enemy's colors was considered a great honor, while losing one's colors was a severe humiliation. Hence, a group of soldiers called the Colors Party was assigned to protect the colors whenever they were brought into battle. Now today, the significance of colors is more symbolic in nature. They are the embodiment of an institution's history, honor, and tradition. The colors are awarded to units to recognize their achievements in the field of combat training, administrative efficiency, and service to the community. They bear the badges that commemorate the achievements of the regiment and symbolize the pride, honor, and loyalty of the men in the unit. Colors are accorded the highest honors and compliments and instill pride and loyalty in soldiers.
this year's gun salute will be executed by the soldiers from the 21st Battalion Singapore Artillery at the Mer Lion Park. These are M3G floating rafts operated by the soldiers from the 35th Battalion Singapore Combat Engineers as they move into position for the gun salute. Well, the Guard of Honor contingents are proudly formed by the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the newly inaugurated Digital and Intelligence Service and the Singapore Police Force. The parade commander this evening is Lieutenant Colonel Ragumaran, son of Davindran, Commanding Officer, Supply Base North, Supply Command. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our senior parliamentary secretaries, mayors, ministers of state, and senior ministers of state to this evening's parade. have the arrival into the Padang now of our senior parliamentary secretaries, mayors, ministers of state, as well as senior ministers of state. Lovely to see everyone decked out in red and white as well. They're looking festive, ready to celebrate this big day. There's not just the 27,000 spectators at the Padang, but also all the Singaporeans watching at home or overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us at the parade today are our cabinet ministers, senior minister and deputy prime ministers. And leading the arrival of our cabinet ministers there, we saw Dr. Tan Si Ling, who is our minister for manpower, and Johnny Raja as well, followed by the rest of the cabinet ministers making their way into the Padang. We see Minister Jo Tio, we see Minister Maliki Osman, Asago Sukifli, all of them waving, excited to be here at the Padang today to celebrate Singapore's birthday. And we have our Deputy Prime Ministers taking their seats as well. Lawrence Wong and Minister Hing Sikia. And also at the parade today are our former president, Dr. Tony Tan Keng Yang, and Emeritus Senior Minister, Mr. Go Chok Tong. Let's give them a warm welcome.
30, go! Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of our Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Hsien Long. Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung arriving at the Padang now, escorted by a motorcade. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong will now take his seat. Prime Minister Lee is Singapore's third Prime Minister. This is his 19th appearance at the National Day Parade as our country's Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of Her Excellency, President Halima Yaakob, and our national anthem. President Halima Yaakob arrives for the grand occasion in the traditional red and white of Singapore. 
President Halima is the eighth president of Singapore and the first female president in Singapore's history. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the salute to the nation from the RSAF 5F-16D Plus Fighting Falcons, led by Commanding Officer 145 Squadron, Senior Lieutenant Colonel Gabriel Yam will execute a spectacular bomb burst, followed by three F-15 SG Eagles in a fly past over the Padang in a salute to the nation. Coming to you live from the cockpit of Senior Lieutenant Colonel Gabriel Yam. Happy birthday, Singapore! And here they come! Madam President, the parade is formed up and ready for your inspection, ma'am. President Halima Yaakob will now inspect the parade. As a mark of respect, the 25-pounder guns will fire in salute to the president. You're hearing the shots fired from the 25-pounder howitzers, and there'll be a total of 21 shots as part of the presidential gun salute. The president is escorted by the Chief of Defence Force, Vice Admiral Aaron Bing, and Parade Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Rugumaran, son of Davindran, for the parade inspection. The 21-gun salute is conducted almost exclusively for the President during National Day parades. It's executed by the gunners from the 21st Battalion Singapore Artillery on board the M3G floating rafts operated by the 35th Battalion Singapore Combat Engineers at the Merlion Park.
and the President will now conduct her customary inspection of the Guard of Honor contingents, beginning first with the 1st Commando Battalion. That's a unit with a very proud history. After winning their 18th consecutive Best Combat Unit Award, they've now taken home the award an incredible 35 times overall. The President stopping now to compliment a soldier and a proud moment for this young man. All the more poignant given that this is the last year that President Halima will be inspecting the Guard of Honor Parade as President. And the President approaching the Navy Guard of Honor contingent, made up of men from the Naval Diving Unit. They too have a proud heritage as one of Singapore's elite units. Naval divers are known for their physical and mental strength, and even though they're at home underwater, they can also take on missions in the air and on land. The Republic of Singapore Air Force Guard of Honor contingent is comprised of men and women from the Air Power Generation Command. Its job is to ensure that the RSAF is able to deliver the air power required to complete its missions. It includes turning around aircraft, servicing and maintenance, and integrating operations across the four air bases. President Halima inspects the newly inaugurated Digital and Intelligence Service. The DIS plays a critical role in defending Singapore from threats in the digital domain, allowing SAF to operate better as a networked and integrated force to deal with new and evolving external threats, as well as to safeguard Singapore's peace and sovereignty. And finally, here's the Singapore Police Force Guard of Honor contingent from Training Command. All police officers must pass through the command to ensure that they have the requisite operational and soft skills to ensure that Singapore remains safe and secure. Halima Yaakov will now embark on her ceremonial vehicle drive past. This is her sixth National Day Parade as Head of State. Come on, Singapore! Let's show our appreciation to President Halima Yaakov by waving our flags as the vehicle drives past you. President Halima making her way around the Padang on her ceremonial vehicle for the last time in her sixth and final NDP. Madam Halima is well loved by the people for her dedication to strengthening the voices of our communities and uplifting those most in need. What you're looking at now is a video montage of the organizers have prepared for the highlights of her six-year presidency and also her past involvement in NDP. President Halima Yaakov is known as a people's president who is a strong advocate for social issues long before she was elected. Her presence at the National Day Parade is a reminder of her commitment to Singapore and Singaporeans from all walks of life. A people's president, Madam Halima's engagement at the parades went well beyond ceremonial inspections and tours. For many, she was the spark of encouragement that Singaporeans needed, embodying the leadership that showed she was with us during one of the darkest moments of Singapore's history. 
Her involvement in various causes, her willingness to engage through various platforms brought us hope and encouraged all of us to press on, to plant seeds of kindness, to step forward as one people, and to not just look after our own needs, but to care for those around us. As your term comes to a close, Madam President, we say a heartfelt thank you for everything you've done. A heartwarming and joyous moment as the crowds and contingents are gathered here today to celebrate Singapore's 58th birthday together with our President. The God of Honor will now execute the Feu de Joie, or Fire of Joy, to celebrate our nation's birthday. Kawalan kohormatan akan tema Feu de Joie. Isikan palaru. Hormat. Tema. Isikan lagi. Hormat. Tembak. Isikan lagi. Madam President, may I have your permission to march off the parade after the RCF 55 aerial display, ma'am? Our President will now take her seat. Ladies and gentlemen, in conjunction with our nation's 58th birthday, the RSAF is also celebrating its 55th anniversary since its formation in 1968. As a tribute to the nation, the RSAF has put together an enhanced aerial display.
must conduct HADR operations when called upon. Escorting the MRTT, our four state-of-the-art F-16D plus fighting Falcons from 145 Squadron. multi-mission helicopter, the CH-47 Foxtrot Chinook, a new variant from 127 Squadron. And making its first and proud appearance at the NDP are two H-225M medium-lift helicopters from 125 Squadron. With its high-load carrying capacity and in-flight agility, the H-225M provides the RSAF with more effectiveness and capability in meeting operational demands. Entering show center from the right of NBS, two F-15 SG Eagles will perform a breathtaking high-G combat turn with full afterburners! F-15 SG Eagles from the opposite direction, doing a vertical climb to round off the aerial display, signifying progress and prosperity for our nation! The march passed once again led by the Colours Party. In today's context, the Singapore Armed Forces' colours are meant to instil pride and loyalty in soldiers. Now, each of the colours or flags carry the emblems of the state and individual regiments. The regimental colours are conferred upon units and formations that have attained operational capability or made commendable achievements. And we now see the Colours Party forming up for the traditional march past, together with the five Guard of Honour contingents. Colours are awarded for achievement in the fields of combat, training, administration, efficiency and service to the community. And as a mark of respect, the crowd is asked to rise as the Colours Party marches past them. A total of 34 marching contingents are featured in this evening's parade. And standing proudly behind the Colours Party, you'll see the five contingents from the SAF and Home Team. 
10 contingents from the uniformed groups and 14 socio-economic organizations as well as the combined band. Together, the contingents represent the country's commitment to the six pillars of total defense, military, civil, social, economic, digital, and psychological defense. is the parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel Ragumaran, son of Davindra. The four state colours are in the forefront. And that's followed by the parade regimental sergeant major, Master Warrant Officer Pandikumaran, son of Atepan. And falling behind are the 36 regimental colours with the Colours Regimental Sergeant Major, 2nd Warrant Officer, Shasi Kuma. The Army Guard of Honour Contingent is up next, formed by the men from the 1st Commando Battalion. It's led by Major Lucas Ng Weisham. We turn our attention now to the Navy Guard of Honor contingent, formed by men from the Naval Diving Unit. This contingent is led by Major Brian Chua. And we now see the Republic of Singapore Air Force contingent, comprising men and women from the Air Power Generation Command. This third Guard of Honor contingent is led by Major Andrew Lee. Up next is the contingent from the Digital and Intelligence Service, comprising men and women from the Joint Intelligence Command and the SAF C4 Command. This fourth Guard of Honor contingent, led by military expert 5, Audrey Yong. Finally, the 5th Guard of Honour contingent is the Singapore Police Force contingent. Forming the contingent are men and women from the Police Training Command of the Singapore Police Force. It's led by Deputy Superintendent of Police, Benson Chong Herta. Coming up are our uniformed services from the SAF and Home Team. Leading the way is the Singapore Army Contingent, led by Captain Vince Ong and Captain Chuang Shen Yuan. Next, we have the Republic of Singapore Navy contingent, led by military expert for Jasper Tsining Yong. And the Republic of Singapore Air Force contingent, led by Captain Jeffrey B. Tiati. And keeping pace are the Singapore Police Force contingent. That's led by Assistant Superintendent of Police, So Wei Hao and the contingent from the Singapore Civil Defence Force, led by Captain Moi Hong. And up next,
Next, we have the uniformed groups. And leading the National Cadet Corps land is Cadet Lieutenant Dalson Yeo. And the National Cadet Corps Sea and Air, that's led by Cadet Lieutenant Tae Min Chi. And behind them are the National Police Cadet Corps, that's led by Cadet Inspector Putra Noor Indra bin Masliami. And the National Civil Defence Cadet Corps, led by Cadet Lieutenant Gratu Aini Binti Rudi. And next, we have the St. John's Brigade Singapore, that's led by Corps Staff Officer Grade 6, Faith Tay. And the Red Cross Youth, led by Volunteer Officer Go Tia Yong. The next two contingents are the Girls Brigade Singapore, led by Cadet Warrant Officer Christabel. And the Boys Brigade in Singapore, led by Senior Cadet Lieutenant Benjamin Noor. And finally, we have the Singapore Scout Association. That's led by Rover Scout Calvin Fu Yong Sheng. And Girl Guide Singapore, led by young adult Yu Shami. Our social and economic groups are up next. And leading the way, we have the People's Action Party PAP Community Foundation, led by Dr. Wan Rizal. And the National Trades Union Congress, led by Mr. Raymond Chin. They're followed by Keppel Corporation Limited. That contingent led by Miss Samantha Yap. And Singtel led by Mr. Andrew Sim. The third block of contingents comprises PUB, Singapore's National Water Agency, led by Mr. Lim Yao Fu. And OSIM International Private Limited, led by Mr. Charles Lee. Next, we have Cetrium Limited, and that's led by Mr. Stephen Tang. And PSA International Private Limited, led by Mr. Kelvin Chan Ching Ting. They're followed by DBS Bank Limited, led by Mr. Chan King Man. And Wan Changi, led by Mr. Hilary Teo. We now see one team at Singapore. That contingent led by Ms. Teo Ai Ping. And Singapore Post, led by Mr. Chin Kai. And the final two socio-economic contingents are GRAB. That's led by Ms. Philomila Chua. And the Hardware Network Youth Charity, led by Ms. Anbu Agana in Anadure. And of course, the marching music for the parade and ceremony is provided by the Combined Band. The band comprises members from the Singapore Armed Forces Band and the Singapore Police Force Band. It's led by band drum majors, military expert to Jash Chua King Hui, and Senior Staff Sergeant Abdul Latif bin Abdul Rahman. And also the Director of Music, Military Expert 5, Ignatius Wang. The military tattoo is another highlight of the parade with the musical performance accompanied by solid marching and even a hint of the dramatic. And that's where the drum majors come in. Their flourishes with their maces now taking on a theatrical twist when they were previously used to define drill movements and signal commands. Their elaborate displays often have spectators on the edge of their seats. And that rounds off the parade and ceremony segment of NDP 2023.
Ladies and gentlemen, coming up is the next segment of this year's National Day Parade, the Total Defense Parade. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> They say there's a part for everyone. And my teacher said my part is to teach the uncles and aunties about total defense. Uncle, uncle, you know what total defense is? I don't know. My teacher said I have to volunteer because I was sleeping in class. Was I sleeping? Yes, you were sleeping. What do you want? Mia, you know total defense? Got any ideas on how I can explain it to Ama? Wow, this pencil case, quite good, huh? Can do many things. Total defense? Why don't you ask Ama? She's outside. Mai, this is what you want to find. Do you remember? Grandma began sharing her memories of Singapore. It wasn't what I was looking for. Boy, you are not in the mood. Uncle, do you know what total defense is? I know. Uncle, how do you explain total defense? It's very simple. I use a very simple way to explain to people. Hello. Hi, Uncle. Hey, Siti. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I think it's going to rain. Have anyone seen the umbrellas? Hey boy, can you help me to find the umbrella? Ah, we I got an umbrella. We can share it together. Can share? Ah? Yeah. Okay, can. Bye, boy. I still didn't have my answer. It weighed heavily on me. Digital defense. Economic defense. Don't worry. Just a power trip. Let's fix this. This should work. And then it hit me. Total defense. Can you help me to find the umbrella? This should work. The idea. I guess everyone did have a part. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as six total defense floats drive onto St. Andrew's Road. Come on, Singapore, wave your flags as the floats make their entry. First up, Social defense. This float was inspired by the act of sharing an umbrella. Like how an umbrella protects us from the rain, our acts of kindness for one another strengthens our social cohesion. Regardless of race, language or religion, social defense keeps us strong and united when others try to divide us. Second, psychological defense. The design of this float was inspired by a grandmother's box of memories. Like her, we all have common experiences and shared memories of what makes us uniquely Singaporean. Psychological defense is our love for Singapore and our desire to protect our way of life. Oh, remember Singer the Lion? Everyone say, Hi, Singer! Third is economic defense, inspired by the act of lifting weights to grow our muscles. Economic defense is about how we can play our part to keep our economy strong. We can do so through skills upgrading and lifelong learning. This empowers us to remain competitive and relevant to the rest of the world. Fourth is digital defense. Like how a food cover net keeps the flies away, digital defense protects us from pests in the digital world. We must adopt good cybersecurity practices to secure our digital way of life. This includes guarding against online falsehoods and fake news. For the pests out there, if you commit the crime, be prepared to do the time. Fifth, civil defense. Our everyday heroes from the SCDF will always have our backs. But civil defense is also about you and me being prepared to deal with emergencies ourselves. From learning how to perform basic first aid to keeping emergency items on standby, everyone can learn something and everyone has a part to play. And finally, military defense. Remember the sister's pencil case with many compartments that can do many things? Think of that as military defense. 
a strong and capable defense that stands ready to perform operations in peace and war. Protecting our air, land, sea, and digital space. If you look closely at the float, there is a ship, a tank, and a fighter plane. Even the numbers on the calculator spell out D, I, and S, the SAF's fourth service. So there you have it, presenting to you the six pillars of total defense. Put your hands together for our participants on parade. Ladies and gentlemen, the siren you hear is the important message signal. This signal is also what you would hear on the 15th of February on Total Defense Day. More importantly, this signal indicates that we have an important public announcement to make. That the defense of Singapore is anchored on a strong and capable SAF and home team. Turn your attention to the center of the Padang. In front of you are representatives from our youth uniform groups, economic and social groups, and personnel from the SAF, SPF, and SCDF. Watch as they unfurl the total defense flag, the coming together of individuals from different walks of life, regardless of race, language, or religion, reminds us that everyone has a part to play in total defense. More importantly, it is only together that we can keep Singapore strong. What? Ladies and gentlemen, to honor all who have contributed towards the defense of our country and to inspire the next generation to continue to give their best for Singapore, we present to you the Total Defense Parade Salute. Oh, 
Singapore, are you ready? Count down to the NDB 2023 show with us. And the countdown begins to the much awaited show segment. And now, we present to you this year's NDP show. The brainchild of creative director and local filmmaker, voiced in Tang. This year's NDP is a celebration of Singapore's unity and strength, and our ability to move onwards as one. The crowd anticipating a truly exciting and extravagant start to a musical rendition of Singapore's history. One opens with the beauty of water and the ocean, which are so much a part of our heritage from Singapore's earliest days. Circling the Padang now are 58 pairs of doves formed by Team Nila, representing 58 years of peace and prosperity. A floor projection enhances the stage setup by creating a 3D effect for an elevated performance. This year, the show segment features 2,400 performers and 43 artists. More than 400 students from tertiary institutes also work tirelessly behind the scenes as artists, audience motivators and content creators. And now a performance by Liu Lo with his rendition of Everything I Am and Hope. is where
The vibrant ships gliding into the Padang now add a splash of colour as performers from the People's Association perform a medley of classic Singaporean tunes in different languages. See if you can recognise this one. We are the Lion Story. I am Amin. And I am Judah. Happy, Happy birthday, Singapore. Singapore. We know you know this one. Come sing along with us. Kinja kinja baro, sampai kan teranto. Ini kes yang teruk, doktor pun mengamuk. Tak terkawal. Jadi jadi tiduknya. Bangun awal. Lebih awal dari waktu sekolah. Nak kata apa? Bila aku cuma rindu pada semua yang buat ceria, suasana. Beat tempo continues with a popular Eurasian folk song titled Jinkly Nona. And the familiar catchy sounds of the sitar can mean only one thing. The sights and sounds of our Indian heritage. A new twist on an old favourite, Muneru Valiba. Yo, NDP23, my name is Lynette and this is Kevin Brandon. Everybody, let me see your hands in the air. Now let's go! Like a butterfly, sting my 
like a bee. Yeah, your hands can't hit, but your eyes can't see. Yeah, I'm riding with the beat, man. Can you feel the heat? What? I'm repping up for SG. Get up on your feet, like the motherfuckers that love you. Even the city, yeah. Get up the front of the board and hang in the lag in the game. But the stuck in the beat, me don't know my yeah. And I sort of get in the part of the board and everybody say, yeah. Up next, a tune some of our older viewers might be familiar with. It's the theme song of the 1985 Chinese drama, Kopio. This next song is a tongue-in-cheek take on everyday coffee shop talk, a quintessential part of life in the Singapore heartland.
Apakah makna tanah air untuk saya? Bagi saya, tanah air itu adalah sebuah simfoni yang dekat di hati. Ia mengandungi pelbagai bunyi-bunyian yang kita kenali. Dia seperti setiap kali kamu kembali dan mendengar bunyi-bunyian ini. Dan ia mengingatkan bahawasanya saya telah pun kembali. Sebagai seorang pemuzik, saya dapat bermain dengan pelbagai alat muzik. Tetapi muzik tanah air kita ada sesuatu yang istimewa yang saya cintai. Ia mempunyai irama dan rentak yang tersendiri yang tidak terdapat pada muzik lain di seluruh dunia. Ini perut mereka, ini nuriya kudumbamu, ini nuriya wear garam nirain diri ku medan dah ini nuriya bide. Ini nuriya parumbriamu, ini nuriya kalacaramu, thalei merai thalei meriya wandi serum medan dah ini bide. Andre leren de, nam Singapura argaludan, bintu perut kelai pain beriti, magici aga, rangoli urua ki kondiri kiren. Adar kenal, Singa rangoli, na payir sotir kene. Tani wen Singapura ren, cui xian lian jia li semua de shi hou, ta men dou hui shuo shi wo men de mei shi. Ke shi dui wo lai shuo, ta men xian lian de shi yi zhong jia de wei dao. Jian yu qi shi zai mei zhong liao li dou fei chan de zhong yao. 所以我们希望保留这门传统手工天然的味道和回忆，继续传承下去。怕将来时候中午会，成个人在拉拉，哇哇，咁拉拉咁咁好风啊！爷爷打开房间，我只个人来就爱，人走就追，人走咯。阿个有个命，没事一点啦，他真艰苦啦，艰苦一转呀，艰苦冇着等。sau đang ngậm bạc à, đang ngậm bạc, chỉ thôi lão phải cái răng bạc, răng bạc cắn không được mà, chẳng cần biết vào thầu khảo vấn đề. Ai không hào sẽ nang, ai khinh lát cho cả, mai sẽ xóa lại là, bơi sải phá xong, bị trực tiếp rồi bơi sải phá xong, trực tiếp bị xóa điểm qua. What a powerful message there of how Singaporeans have truly come a long way to overcome the challenges of our times together. As we emerge from the storms of the past, our lives begin anew as we grow and flourish as one nation. Act two is titled Our Strength. Performers from the Soka Gakkai Singapore Women's Division and Dance Inspiration come together to demonstrate the resilience of Singaporeans in the face of challenges. Like these green reeds of hope, we remain optimistic and grateful for the blessings around us, despite the challenges and the hardships faced. A community united and working together through blood, sweat and tears as our dreams blossom and bloom with time. Iman Fandi now brings us a soulful rendition of Bunga Sayang, a tribute to Singapore as a garden city.
And now, homegrown singer Olivia Ong brings us Ru Yen, the theme song from hit local drama Little Nonya. This song depicts the beauty of quiet strength and how as Singaporeans, we walk through challenges and triumphs of life together with strength, unity and grace. There is something in each of us. Something that calls us, moves us, drives us. Something that wakes us up. It doesn't matter how many times we've done it. We keep coming back. Again. And again. And again. We're day in, day out. It's all we breathe in. It's all we breathe out. It's what we put our hearts in. The only thing we dream about. Every waking moment and when the people of the nation all begin to dream something extraordinary happens it becomes the place where we the citizens we the doers we the dreamers we the makers we the people come alive
These are the moments I live for. Act 3 is all about passion. The strong and beating heart of what it means to be Singaporean. And embodying the youth, fire and passion of the people is the band 53A. They're joined by Green Drumming SG, Marshall House, Tomasic Polytechnic and the Music and Drama Company. They'll be performing a medley of songs including Light Em Up, Tomorrow's Here Today and Smash Hit, Firework. This performance channels the passion and drive of Singaporeans to keep striving for a better future. This performance captures the vibrant, youthful energy of Singapore. The strong and rhythmic sound of the drums like a beating heart. A rallying cry for the nation to come together to create the future that we hope for and the life of our dreams. So whether you're celebrating with us at home or overseas, join in the fun and sing and dance along with us. That was Act 3, One Beating Heart, celebrating our strengths and determined to pass on that flame. A 
I believe that a teacher's role is more than just imparting knowledge. The lessons that we teach outside of the classroom about values, kindness and about life. Those are the lessons that stay with them and light their paths ahead. It's really a privilege to be able to inspire the younger generation on our relationship with nature. Whenever I show them a plant or animal, their faces always light up. These moments of wonder are when we feel closest to our natural world, and I believe that's the most important part to environmental education. What I experienced with my son was not easy. As a school counselor, I hope to reach out to the young people who are going through a dark period. So I started making videos about our mental health that I hope would bring a little light to their lives. I've made some choices in my life that I wish I did not. I'm lucky that there are people here who saw the light in me and gave me another chance to make a different choice. Now, I work together with youths to make a collective impact in the community. I believe that we all have the responsibility to care for the community we live in. That's why I chose to be a community volunteer in Silver Generation Ambassador. Sometimes all it takes is a smile to light up someone's day. In our last and final act, our young nation looks to the future, onward as one. Determined to forge ahead, each one playing a part, keeping that flame alive. Here's Sloan Dunstan Li Shen and TIV singing This Little Light of Mine. Singapore, I think you know.
know this one. This is your NDP theme song of 2023. So let's hear you sing it loud and strong, okay? Let's go. can't handle you could dream it you can live it you can have it all watch it turn into flames passion burning the same you know we gonna shut it down when the duty calls picture me this all we want to do is chasing the bliss upon the stars making a wish moving along for the days that we miss let the sun dry your tears let your light put out your fears lion city this a family for a few hundred years We say thank you and we hope you're enjoying the show. Allow us to send you one final burst of energy. People here at the Padang, now is the time. I invite you to rise up as we go onward as one and celebrate our 58th birthday. Raise your drums in the air. It's a party here in Singapore. This is our grand finale. Let's get up on our feet, put our hands together, and sing our hearts out as we stand up for Singapore.
Ladies and gentlemen, the National Pledge. We, the citizens of Singapore, pledge ourselves as one united people, regardless of race, language or religion, to build a democratic society based on justice and equality, so as to achieve Happiness, prosperity, and 
Now President Madam Halima Yaakob will now take her leave. Please put your hands together and wish her a very good night. And that marks President Halima Yaakob's final NDP as our head of state. President Halima shaking hands and greeting all the performers, thanking them for all their time, effort and energy that's been put into this magical show together. She'll be remembered fondly by the people as the People's President for her dedication to strengthening the voices of our communities and also uplifting those most in need. And a selfie now with the President as all the performers gather. Lots of laughter, smiles all around. A beautiful celebration after all that hard work that's been put into putting the show together. As President Halima bids farewell to all the participants of this year's NDP, her well wishes reflect the sentiment of her final National Day message to all Singaporeans. She expressed her pride that Singaporeans have defied the odds and created an exceptional Singapore over the past 58 years. And she also reminds us that in order to continue moving onward as one, we need the same tenacity, conviction and support to build a better future for those coming after us. It's all smiles, all the performers waving at the cameras, taking their time, enjoying what's left of the show. And President Halima taking time to mingle with the performers. Everyone dressed in festive red and white, our national colours and the colours of our flag. Thousands and thousands of performers put in so much heart and effort into putting this show together. And a heartfelt birthday wish there from some of the performers. 58 years celebrating Singapore's birthday today. And not forgetting the 27,000 spectators in the stand who came down today dressed in red and white as well, ready to celebrate our beautiful nation. President Halima giving her final thanks to some of the performers tonight, showing her appreciation for all their hard work. A poignant and heartfelt goodbye for President Halima now. The audience waving and cheering, thanking her and showing their appreciation for her last six years of service. And President Halima takes her leave now, her last as Singapore's president, this NDP. Wow, what an amazing night. Thank you, Singapore, for being such a wonderful audience at home and at the party. Wow. 
Daniel. As we look forward to the future, may we all embrace it with hope, gratitude, and courage. And don't forget to always shine your light. All right, guys, when we say Onward as One, people here at the Padang, you say Singapore. One, two, three. Onward as One, Singapore. And we can be saying, Happy Birthday, Singapore. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah. And with that, we've come to the end of this year's NDP 2023. What a celebration of how far we've come together as a nation. We've overcome the odds to build a future that's filled with hope and promise. Today's show, a true testament of the Singapore spirit. Strong, united and moving onward as one. It's still all smiles and celebrations here at the Padang. All the performers putting in months and months of hard work to put this show together for all of us. So whether we're enjoying it here in the Padang, at home or overseas, everyone's been working behind the scenes and hope you've enjoyed Singapore's 58th birthday celebrated back here in the Padang after all these years. A true homecoming and a beautiful celebration of how far we've come together. I hope you've enjoyed the festivities tonight. This is Angela Lim signing off. Thank you for sharing this unforgettable night with us. Show me how I should be strong